Do you believe in second chances? A New Mexico man says he has learned his lesson the hard way. Ryan Laughlin shares how he's trying to make the world a better place in this heart of New Mexico. People ask us all the time, how do you find the stories that you tell? Well, this one comes from Steve Stucker. He's a character a lot of you guys know, and he attracts characters too. For this heart of New Mexico, we're going to the beautiful Española Valley. Just outside the beautiful Española Valley. Having spaces, you know, sacred spaces, where you can go and just catch your breath, you know. Josh McKenzie has his art studio. I'm a Benedictine Oblate, so our, our motto is uh, Ora et Labora, and that is to work and pray. The work for McKenzie often starts on a pallet. I started learning things like primary lines, and if you cross these primary lines with these colors, then you get grisale or you gray it out. Lessons with the brush are not so different than life lessons. I'm doing it, but I just needed time and patience and, and medium, you know, I needed to learn. You know, while there's rules, there's not a lot of rules, but there's things you can and can't do. Some lessons he learned the hard way. Yeah, they went ahead and taught me a, a real quick lesson on felony murder. He was a young man on the verge of joining the Marines in 1994 in Denver, Colorado. And a buddy of mine says, hey, you want to go with me? I'm going to sling some dope real quick and we'll hang out. Cool. And uh, he got shot and killed. I got shot and I shot and killed one of the guys that was robbing him. And that was it. I lost my true north. My gut told me do not go. I knew what I was doing, Ryan. Like, I knew. I took my pistol with me. Mackenzie would serve the next 23 years in prison. I had one thing, anger, you know, rage. That's it, that's what I had. That's what you get in there, you know, because you can't act out emotively ever. There's consequences for emotive actions in there. Eventually, he started taking classes while locked up. I took this class called Victim Impact, and uh, hooey, it started this though. You know, this is why I do this, because uh, there's no fixing that, man, you know? He found his faith and art. It was a discipline that I needed at a time in my life where, um, man, I felt real hopeless. I have a handicap emotionally. God's given me the ability to put that emotion into art. Around the same time, he developed a routine. I'm getting up to pray. And I got up for a standing head count at 5.30 a.m. every day for so long, that's when I wake up. Rise and shine. And um, I would watch his program. I was the, you know, crazy old lifer in the back of the room that no one talked to, and I put it on the KOB. Well, that was what we watched. He gravitated to one man in particular. You know, he talked about the beautiful Espanola Valley. It, it impacted me quite a bit. And may God bless. Steve Stucker. For me, you know, he's he's not just a weatherman, you know. He's got other credentials. Then he started to use his art for good. I would do paintings and donate them, and they would take them to the churches, auction them off for money for the chapel program, for rosaries or Bibles or whatever people need for the church. Now, without getting asked, he will surprise people with art. And there's something about praying through a piece that gives a special connection, like like you just connect to that piece, you bond with that piece, or if it's a memorial piece, you were already bonded, but now, you know, there's something here. Sometimes, never taking credit for it. This is what I do, like sneaking around and doing stuff like this. Like what he did with this cross. There was a story on KOB about a lady's son who got killed and her memorial keeps getting vandalized and burned. He never met Manny Tapia, but secretly put up this memorial for him at this Albuquerque intersection. Yeah, I want to make a living as an artist and sneak around and do good to, you know, just make it a better place. He knows he may never be forgiven by the family of the man he killed almost 30 years ago. It took me a minute to get over that. A lot of praying. He's determined to use the time he has left to do some good. You know, I don't reckon it'll change the world, but you never know, you know. 
Things happen all the time. With this Heart of New Mexico, I'm Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.